still on China, the Department of Homeland Security wants to block the importation of products that they say were produced by forced labor in China. The gentleman on the right-hand side of the screen is Mark Morgan, Mark Morgan Border Patrol guy. Uh, Mark, it seems to me that we are really rapidly approaching a full-scale trade war with China. What do you say? Well, look, you know, Stuart, that, that's outside my purview with respect to, to any trade war. What I can tell you, CBP's purview is it's really our statutory responsibility to investigate and identify products and goods that are being manufactured with forced labor and producing and preventing them from being introduced into our United States supply chain. What we have, Stuart, is the Chinese government continues a, really a systemic uh, uh, endeavor to use forced labor, really specifically targeting the, the Uyghur uh, community and other ethnic minority groups uh, to, to produce goods using forced labor. It's, it's, it's really nothing more than modern day slavery right now that's going on. Okay, Senator Tom Cotton has just introduced a bill that would revoke China's most favored nation status. Watch this for a second. This week is the 20 year anniversary of granting China permanent most favored nation status, something that Joe Biden voted for and that he still defends to this day. There were some pretty fierce debates in the 1990s on an annual basis about Chinese backsliding, especially after Tiananmen Square. We need to go back to that approach so we can keep the pressure on China every year to stop stealing our intellectual property. Mark, it really does look like and feels like a full court press on China. Look, Stuart, make no mistake, China is a threat, and Senator Cotton is absolutely right. It, this extends well beyond just forced labor, but intellectual property theft. The list goes on and on about what China is doing that's negatively impacting this country. But specifically right now, I, I'm very proud of the men and women of CBP, specifically our office, office of Trade, who this week we we're just able to uh, uh, add an additional five withhold release orders targeting specific entities in the, in the Xinjiang region, specifically that we have reasonable suspicion that the, the Chinese government is using forced labor to produce goods okay. that are coming to this country. Is this part of a move to make, uh, have American companies change their uh, supply chain? away from China, go someplace else? Well, it's not necessarily away from China, Stuart, but your question is spot on. We are sending a clear message to, to the companies, any importer of goods in the United States, that they have a responsibility here to ensure that the goods that are bringing to this country are not made with forced labor. So it's not that we're targeting China, it's that we're targeting anyone who's using forced labor. Right now, China's just at the top of that list. Mark Morgan, thank you very much for being with us this morning. Always appreciate it, sir. Thank you.